Hey guys, it's Robbie from Eco Fishing Shop. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can take this bag to that boat in a matter of minutes. I'm gonna be giving you a full review on the Star Pike and the stability and fishability of this rig. Today we're going with one rod, a catch board, and a backpack. We're gonna see if we can get it done. So to start this review off, we're going to do some sort of, uh, not super in-depth, but uh, we're going to do an overview of this. Let's start at the front here. We've got a uh, pretty hard plastic keel here. Um, not have to worry about hitting your actual inflatable here. Past the keel, you've got an additional handle here on top. And coming back, you have a little bit of a water cover here. And uh, under the kayak, you've got obviously two pretty big tunes on the side really good for stability coming a little bit farther back here you've got a strap to uh keep keep your middle section down tight here you've got tie down points um here and then all the way down of course and uh we've also got a yak attack uh attachment you've also got two foot feet adjusters here uh, really good to rest your feet on while you're kayaking. Next on the kayak, we have two more Yak Attack attachments. Uh, you can put anything pretty much on those. And come back a little bit more. We've got some tie downs here. And we have tie downs with straps specifically for the seat to keep it rigid down into the boat. Um, it's a really, really high seat, in my opinion, for, for the actual uh, base of the boat. It comes up probably about four inches maybe off the bottom and coming back here we've got more yak attack attachments um it's a really really nice rig to be inflatable and to be able to add more attachments to it that's always great you've got two more attachments back here for the the straps for the uh, seat to keep it tight down against the kayak then we come back a little bit more here we've got you got all three valves here on the back one on the right, one on the left tune, and then you've got one in the center here. And then, of course, in the back, again, you have a really hard plastic keel protector here. Uh, you don't have to worry about hitting anything too hard there. And you've got another handle on top here and another water cover here. Now that I've shown you guys some of the features here on land, we're gonna take it out, show you guys the stability, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can get on some fish. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start on this review and get in the water. Slip the phone in the side here. Get up here. And get on the water. Wow, this thing is crazy stable. I mean, let's let's go ahead and stand up here and see see what we're working with. Wow, that is crazy. Super stable already. I mean, I've I've got my gear back there. So, I mean, I've I've got some weight on this thing too, and the seat is pretty high up. It's pretty comfortable, but. Let's see how it works in the long haul. First of all, this thing tracks like really well for an inflatable kayak. Of course, it has the Yak Attack fitting adapters. You could put pretty much anything you want, a rod holder, fish finder. They pretty much make it really easy to do what you want. I really like how roomy it is. It's, it's very roomy. I can put my legs, I've got really long legs, so it's super roomy. The uh, adjustable foot feet on the kayak is really nice. If I wanted to come up here, um, if I had shorter legs or if I wanted to bend my legs and rest, I could. Or I could go all the way to the end and sort of lay down, put my feet out. But we're gonna go ahead and try and get on some fish here. I've got a Bojangles 10 inch ribbon worm here with a four rod hook. And uh, I've got a 13 fishing omen rod from Eco Fishing Shop. So um, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna see if we can get on something here. So we ventured out on our pike, found an area to fish, hooked into one here, uh, right off a log, probably about 15 inches, uh, on a 10 inch worm from Bojangle Baits uh, at Eco Fishing Shop. 
Uh, not a bad fish. Uh, we, we let her go here. And then uh, we pulled up to another area, hooked into another fish here. A little bit smaller than the last one, but uh, the pike was really getting those fish in and uh, really handled well. So we got our pike back on land here, rolled it up, put it back into the bag. I have a separate video here uh, showing you how to put it back into the bag and how to get it deflated and uh, all that good stuff. If you want more reviews, just subscribe to Eco Fishing Shop and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.